Welcome back everyone. Beaker's back with us today for this review. Uh, I've had a flyer from work, uh, so I thought I'd bang out a quick beer review now. Excuse me, messing around with the camera. Uh, yeah, so the next beer up is uh, it's coming from the blade behind me. And I've got a keg of uh, Gossa Marzen in there. Now I'm limited on my knowledge and uh, taste of Marzen. I've only ever had one Marzen before. Uh, my knowledge of it was it was like a dark lager. Uh, I have just done a little bit of research and it's an Oktoberfest style beer, they say, and it can be from pale to dark. So it just, uh, it just varies. Uh, so any second now, I'll go and do a pour. I'll do a video of the pour as well, and then I'll come back and we'll start the review then. So see you in the tick. Well, as you see there, uh, not only did I forget to uh, press record when I first started pouring, but I also made a big fuck up of the pour. Uh, overfilled it a bit. But there we are in a glass. Straw in colour, so it's definitely not like the dark sort of thing that I was expecting. Plenty of carbonation rising up the glass. And we've got, there was probably a two and a half, three finger white head. Uh, compact, compact creamy head on there so like I said I'm just assuming from what I've heard it's going to be an Oktoberfest sort of style beer I don't know if there's going to be anything different there but uh, we'll dive in on the nose and the taste and we'll we'll see so let's give it the old uh, swirl and sniff get the old nose in there as they say didn't get much swirling on there that head's pretty pretty stuck Nose in there as usual. Malty. I'm getting a bit of lemon in there and a bit of spiciness in there, a bit like peppery, peppery spiciness. Yeah, as it's going down, I'm picking a bit more, bit more up on the nose now. Yeah, peppery, lemon spiciness, malty, and it does actually, I would say it smells Certainly along the same lines as like the, the Oktoberfest beers that I've had on the Perfect Draft, the Spate and then the Low Umbrella. So, enough sniffing, let's dive in, get a taste of cheers everyone. Want some? No, he's not having none. Yep, that's just... For me, that is that is an Oktoberfest style beer. Uh, like I say, I'm not sure what difference Marzen is, whether that's just their word for fest beer, I don't know. Because this is Austrian, this beer. Uh, let's dive in and give you some... Body's thin on it. Uh, mouthfeel isn't it's a bit harsh shall we say very gassy very gassy in there malty very sort of peppery, I would say. And a big, big hit of lemon. Uh, what do I think? Bear with me, two ticks. Let's give it another top up because it's gone down far too easy, hasn't it? Otherwise, I'm going to run out of beer before the end of the review. So another top up there. Thin in body. I don't even. Yeah, 
I don't even said straw in colour, crystal clear. You can see done the carbonation, done the head. It's uh, thin in body, quite carbonated, quite heavily carbonated, malty. Big lemon flavour in there. A bit spicy. Uh, it's not bad, to be fair. Uh, I'm not going to say it's the, the greatest. I, I can only say it's, compare it to a, a, the Oktoberfest beers that I've had. It's nowhere near as malty for me as some of them. It, it, it seems to me a, a bit more Pilsner, this one. didn't tell you the percentage this is 5.2 percent you're certainly not getting the 5.2 percent uh, it's got a real lemon sort of tang on it lemon spiciness to it uh, but it's not bad uh, I got a feeling it's going to be easier to drink eight liters of this than uh, eight liters of the afflegem that I had in there uh, excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I got this is for the blade, as I've said. This is all a bit arse about faces review. I do apologise. Got this for the blade. Picked it up from abroad. It's coming at about thirty-eight pound. That's with the postage, which was ten euros. So you're pretty much you're pretty much saying a ten a postage, aren't you? Probably nine quid. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's it, I think all the kegs sort of kind of worked out to about 38 quid each, the four that I got, because it came in at £150. Uh, there was a, about a five a PayPal fee on that as well. So 45 quid pretty much for postage and PayPal fee. So the actual kegs come in quite cheap, it's just paying the postage for it. But they were new ones that at the time you couldn't get over here, so I wanted to pick them up. Uh, yeah. That's an enjoyable beer. I'm not going to say it's the greatest. I don't think it matches up to uh, the, the Spate and Oktoberfest or the Low and Brow Oktoberfest. But it's a nice beer. It's a nice lager. Uh, it's easily, you can drink it easy enough. You don't really get the hint of uh, the 5.2%. So it's going to be one of them sort of chuck down your neck kind of beers. Not fantastic. Certainly not shit. Uh, you know, just just a good steady beer really uh so that's it so if you've had this before let me know what you think if you're thinking of picking it up by all means pick one up i would say uh as good as heineken i'm not sure uh certainly better than the tiger this certainly better than the tiger as good as the heineken No, not for me, not quite, not quite for me. Uh, but a very enjoyable beer, so I've gone on too long now. Feel free to comment, let me know what you think. Uh, got this from Beer, beer Bottle EU, so if you've got a blade, I'm sure you know all about this website already. But pop on there, I think they're pretty good value to be fair. Uh, and that's about it really, that's all I've got to say. So uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, Really want to reach 200 subscribers, so tell all your friends and all that, like anyone into beer, try and get them to watch me and subscribe to my channel. Uh, as soon as I hit 200, I'll leave you alone until I get to about 280, and then I'll be pestering everyone to reach the 300. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon on another beer review. It's good night from him, and it's good night from me. Cheers.